a six-year-old boy was lured to a woods and murdered. His mum went to court over it because they believed she was a suspect. Turns out it wasn't her. 27 years later, they finally found who did it. Let's get into the upbringing of the six-year-old boy before his murder and how his mum was accused of murder. The six-year-old boy, Ricky Neve, was born in 1989 on the Welland estate in Peterborough with his mum and two of three sisters. Before his death, Ricky and his family were well known to local social services and Ricky was on the at-risk register. So Ricky was regularly sent out after midnight to go and buy amphetamine for his mom, also known as Speed. So at his tender age, he was going out and buying drugs for his mom as a little child. It's just mental. Just to add in quickly, I've seen what amphetamine does to people and it's fucking horrible. So the neighbour, Kelly Nuttall, who was 13 at the time, gave a statement and said that the mum was a complete and utter disgrace and she was pure evil. Also going on to say that she would shout, scream and hit her kids regularly, treating Ricky the worst and also saying that she felt like killing him. So on the day of Ricky's murder, Kelly Nuttall, the neighbour, had spent most of the day with them and she said she hadn't seen the little boy. After Ricky's body was found, Kelly, the neighbour, was asked about allegations she'd made against Ricky's mother and she said that once she actually caught her with her hands around Ricky's neck and she only released it after seeing her. So after all the statements and witnesses, in 1996, Ruth Neve appeared in Northampton Crown Court and was acquitted of the murder of her six-year-old son, Ricky Neve. So after all this, Ricky's case became a cold case, which basically means if they don't get any more evidence, it isn't going to open up again. So until pressure from Ricky's mom and her husband, Gary Rogers, it was reopened in 2015. So an officer now retired and his team discovered that there was sellotape applied to Ricky's clothing and they had that as evidence back in 1994, but due to them not having the right techniques and the right equipment back then, they weren't able to investigate it further. Obviously being 2015 now, they can have a look. So the test found DNA for someone called James Lewis Watson, who was 13 at the time of the murder. So this was described as a turning point because James Lewis Watson was not a stranger to the inquiries. They had actually interviewed him in December 1994 because two different witnesses had seen him with Ricky on the day of his disappearance. So after finding the DNA in February 2016, Watson was the suspect for the killing. So when he was first interviewed, he made no mention of any contact between him and Ricky at all. So Watson's now being interviewed as a murder suspect 24 years later and he specifically mentioned that he lifts Ricky up to look over a fence to look at a digger but the detectives say there was no fence. Obviously at this point they're becoming more and more convinced that they'd finally identified the murderer of the six year old boy Ricky Neve. In February 2020 he was finally charged with the murder of Ricky Neve but because of legal challenges and the pandemic, he didn't stand court until January this year. So after the 27 year mystery of Ricky's death, it was finally solved with the conviction of Watson at the Old Bailey. As he was sentenced to life in prison to serve a minimum of 15 years. You wanna see more of these, just drop a like and subscribe. See you soon.